Go. Hey, Kelton Log viewers, it's me, Amin Garwal, for another exclusive of the UCLA uh, student protests that are being held here on campus because the UC Regents increased tuitions by 32% today. Um, we are actually inside the Occupy building itself of Campbell Hall uh, due to some gritty investigative reporting on behalf of Kelton Logs and myself and my honorable cameraman. Uh, we have been able to infiltrate the building. And we're going to go ahead and show you what the uh, protesters and occupiers have done. As you can see here, they've barricaded the doors. They've barricaded the doors so that the police cannot come in. And the police have tried once in a while, and they've poked around. But they've realized there's no way for them to get in without shattering the glass. And then this is also here. A bike rack. How the hell did they get a bike rack? Well, heck, check it out. These people lifted up a bike rack, put it here. Uh, if you follow me, we got way more. And this is just a bottom hall, a bottom floor. Uh, every floor, every entryway is barricaded, except for the basement, which is what people here, the occupiers, are actually waiting in anticipation for the police at some point to storm the basement of Campbell Hall and try and come up from the bottom and get people out of the building. Um, they've also managed to jam the elevators. And this is on every floor, so the elevators can't go up and down. No, the only way to around this building is to go up and down uh, one set of stairs on the other end, on the other end of the wing. Uh, and I mean, this is incredible. I mean, this is, I, I, I never thought in my lifetime, all right, in my lifetime, that I would see students in prissy, glitzy, glamoury Los Angeles, California, where there's a distraction for just about everything, sit here and actually assemble a protest and occupy a building. I mean, this is cool, folks. This is, this is what grassroots activism is about. This is what America is about. And these people right now are serving as watchmen of democracy, as the gatekeepers of our liberty and our freedom. And it might seem small, and it might seem very melodramatic for me to say this, but it's incredibly true and incredibly accurate. And I also have a statement here that was issued by the occupiers, which I would like to read to all of you, uh, because it's incredibly important and needs to be shared with all of you out there. So this is a statement by the occupiers of Campbell Hall. On the 19th of, of, on the 19th of uh, November, at approximately 12.30 a.m., students occupied Campbell Hall at UCLA. The time has come for us to make a statement and issue our demands. In response to this injunction, we say, we will ask, we will ask nothing. We will demand nothing. We will take, we will occupy. We have to learn not to tiptoe through a space which ought to by right belong to everyone. We are under no illusions. The UC Regents will vote the budget cuts and raise student fees. The profoundly undemocratic nature of their decision making process and their indifference to the plight of those who struggle to afford an education or keep their jobs can come as no surprise. We know that the crisis is systematic. It reaches beyond the Regents, beyond the criminal budget cuts in Sacramento, beyond the economic crisis to the very foundations of our society. But we also know that the enormity of the problem is just as often an excuse for doing nothing. We choose to fight back, to resist where we find ourselves, the place where we live and work, our university. We therefore ask those who share in our struggle to lend us not only their sympathy, but their active support. For those students who work two or three jobs while going to school, to those parents for whom the violation of the UC Charter means the prospect of affordable education remains out of the reach, to laid off teachers, lecturers, to students turned away, to workers who've seen the value of their diplomas evaporate in an economy that grows without producing jobs. We say that our struggle is your struggle and that an alternative is possible if you have the courage to seize it. We are determined that the struggle should spread, that this is the condition in which the realization of our demands becomes possible. So honestly, people who have occupied this building believe that this is the first major step to once again making the public school system of the University of California public. And that no longer the elites and those who run the UC Regents, who are completely out of touch with the student body, completely out of touch with the communities and the groups of people and the various demographics that come in and make up this university, that make up the entire UC system, they have absolutely no idea how to relate to them. So check it out. We've got to head out of here. We've got to do it live. We're out.